Okay guys, this video is gonna be very very personal that I want to talk about and it's about Call of Duty Mobile. So the, uh, first of all, I want to get it that we got some real release date of the game. So the release date in India is going to come November 15 or November 19 in 2019. So this year is going to be the, the real release of Call of Duty Mobile. I am not lying. I just said on it. So we're, uh, I mean, I'm expecting an October or November worldwide launch on Call of Duty Mobile. Why I'm saying this because uh, remember, Call of Duty Mobile was announced recently. And many people have been playing it on China, and on China has even surpassed, I think, the the 10 million uh, downloads and registrations on China alone. And main registrations on North America has been booming. The pre-registrations have been moving. But I want to get something real straight. I pronounce that Call of Duty Mobile will launch the same day or the same month as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. That's right. Call of Duty Mobile will launch on Call of Duty uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 release dates that is me and i'm gonna put my love on it just it's just a saying so guys the video is about either way call of duty can save call of duty mobile can save the call of duty franchise what i'm gonna say let, let, let's talk about this version so the call of duty uh, franchise has been in a down here for the last past let's say four years four to five years since the essence of advanced warfare advanced warfare it was not a bad game advanced warfare it was an okay game many people love it many people hated it but it was the first game of sledgehammer games after that we got um cool games let's say cool games of call of duty we got call of duty black ops 3 we got advanced warfare uh we got uh, Infinite Warfare, we got World War II, and those games didn't grab or nab defense of Call of Duty, uh, uh, the Call of Duty has. But if we get into thinking about the Call of Duty franchise as a whole, we need a boom on the Call of Duty franchise for a whole. Let's say we uh, Activision announces Modern Warfare 4, and that is happening soon, guys. That is happening soon, and it's happening on November. November, um, sorry, I mean, it's happening on June, after the E3 Coliseum, and it's gonna be lit. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare releases because what I've been hearing, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 has some old developers on the old Call of Duty th trilogy, and that's it's cool. I'm gonna keep you updated on that and be very very reasonable about it. But why I think Call of Duty Mobile needs to save the franchise? Let's just say it needs good thinking. The Call of Duty Activision has not been doing their great moves with the loot boxes. I know many of you are thinking that loot boxes are a thing if you wanna if you wanna pay, but let's get it straight. They add weapons that you need things to uh, to uh, unlock it by via loot boxes or via microtransactions. That's the first thing. The first thing is that Activision has been really really de de dependent on zombies. Zombies is a very cool thing. But we need to get things, we need to get new formulas, we need to upgrade Call of Duty, we need to rethink and revamp and reboot the series. The series is in need of a reboot and fresh air. We need more players. I know it's, a, uh, it's an arcade game, but we need more players or, or we need uh, something brand new, something like that. Something to really get the franchise going. Uh, many people like, you know common and not just little kids playing the games more like good old call of duty players from the era of modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 we need this type of gameplay we need this type of of people playing back of the call of duty franchise and really it's sad seeing this type of call because really many many people have abandoned mod about black ops 4 because either that black ops 4 is a pay to win module that everybody has seen that is rigged with microtransactions that a 30 hammer and that a 30 dollar hammer everything like that and by the way it's not my saying many people have saying just search on youtube and you will find it but we need to talk about that uh, the, the Call of Duty Mobile, it's a step forward in my thinking, really. Call of Duty Mobile is a thing because it's getting everything good of the franchise and, and putting it on one. Just don't put zombies, really. Don't put zombies. Like, right now, don't put in zombies. Uh, put, you can put Battle Royale. I am not really bad at that. Put Battle Royale. Uh, put uh, put all the gameplay you have there. Domination, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch, Free For All. All that kind of gameplay on the mobile and you, you're set. You're really, you're set. Keep it with updated. Keep it with updates. Keep it with... Uh, with uh, 
good things to say, updates, uh, first uh, kills, shit like that, you know? Keep the gaming community controlled and really happy. That's how you should see uh, a mobile game. Add new heroes, add new uh, warfighters, add new, uh, add new weapons, or add new kill streak uh, each month or every three or four months. Do a, a, a competitive uh, multiplayer that people love. And we have seen in the last video that many people love Call of Duty still unto this day, and they want a silver lightning on the Call of Duty uh, franchise. And I think mobile and modern warfare release could be a new beginning for Call of Duty. Maybe not. Maybe it can be a dis uh, disappointment. Like many people are not very attracted to the Call of Duty mobile. But yes, many people worldwide love this sir. And I'm really, really excited to play this game on my mobile because let's say many people have a phone, actually. Uh, many people in India, many people in uh, China and North America. And let's say you got an iPhone and just want to play video games. You got, you want to play, you don't want to play Candy Crush or you want to play, uh, I don't know, what you play PUBG or Peace Walkers, like everything I saw, or Modern Combat. You just want to play some Call of Duty and you just go and log in and play Call of Duty. That's it. That's 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 a cool move for the first all. That's a very cool move. And let's say this Call of Duty can release on the Nintendo Switch. That's that's awesome actually. You got a new color you got the Call of Duty on a Nintendo Switch console. That's a very cool move actually you can do. But I don't know guys. You, you let me know what you think about this. Comment below, let me know. Can this save the franchise? Can this be the A1 plus that Activision can really depend on actually? Really, comment below, let me know what you think about, and please subscribe to the channel and help us grow, and like the video and share. I'll see you next time on the Red and Guys Show. Peace out.